Acting Chief Medical Officer Dr. Francis Martin says they now await test results from important contacts close enough to the 50-year-old index case. The country's first patient confirmed with COVID-19 coronavirus last Sunday. Grenada has confirmed cases of COVID-19 to date are seven, and since this announcement on Thursday, health officials are continuing to increase its surveillance and contact tracing. GBN spoke with Dr. Martin on Friday for the latest COVID-19-related information. Today was a significant day for us in the sense that we had held our, uh, our first meeting to uh, concretize our plans going forward for widespread contact tracing. We met with the NADMA team, um, National uh, um, NIAC, so that we can try days around and decide on how we're going to go about setting up teams across the island to follow all the contacts and leads that we have, both in terms of uh, persons in contact with persons people who will confirm COVID-19. Dr. Martin said he was unable to give the number of people reached through contact tracing, but said this process will not end soon. He spoke to GBN about people placed under quarantine. But this is not something that will end anytime soon because as soon as you get one contact and you interview that person and realize that there are other contacts as a result of this particular contact. So we're in for the long haul when it comes to this matter. We are getting cooperation from the important person that is. Those are really high contact. And we're also getting quite a lot of cooperation from those who have come um, from the airline and is asked to home quarantine. It is quite encouraging to see how much they've all joined to make sure that we're safe. But unfortunately, you know, there are still some people who are not following the rules and they are putting the risk of everybody putting everybody at risk as a result of not following the rules. When asked if there is a possibility of a community lockdown in the areas with the largest concerns of contacts, Dr. Martin said while this decision is not in his purview, his personal choice will be to see this happen to force people to adhere to the rules. GBN is also following reports of Grenadians dying in the United States and the United Kingdom due to COVID-19. GBN reached out to Foreign Affairs Minister Peter David to assist with information about this report. However, there was no response up to news time. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.